Do you think your brain is different from a child's or an adult's? You bet it is. As a matter of fact, it's dramatically different. But we haven't always known this. Neuroscientists, scientists who study the brain, used to believe the first three years of life was the most significant period of brain growth and learning. But they were wrong. There's a second phase that lasts longer and provides an extended length of time to grow your brain the way you want. By the end of the 20th century, these scientists had discovered the brain's frontal lobe produces a slew of new communication connections called synapses, right before puberty, somewhere between the ages of 9 and 11. This part of the brain includes an area called the prefrontal cortex, which lies right behind your eyes and forehead. The prefrontal cortex is responsible for self-control and making good decisions, among other thinking skills. That's why it's often referred to as the thinking part of the brain. And as soon as puberty begins, somewhere around age 10 to 12, the brain starts the process of pruning away the synapses you're not using and strengthening the synapses you're using regularly. The more you think about something, engage in a specific activity, or study something, the stronger those synapses become. The brain literally rewires itself to become more efficient in doing the things you do most often. And it doesn't complete this process until you're at least 25 years old. This entire 15 years or so of brain reorganization and growth is considered adolescence by many experts. That means adolescence begins before you become a teenager and doesn't end for several years after your teens. The brain's ability to rewire itself by making and strengthening new synaptic connections based on what you learn is referred to as neuroplasticity. And as the brain absorbs information faster and easier, the stronger these synapses get, which makes adolescence the most intense opportunity for learning you will have during your lifetime. But this learning is not just limited to academics. Your brain learns and strengthens synapses based on how you spend your time, which experiences you expose your brain to. And unfortunately, negative experiences can be just as influential as positive experiences. So who you spend your time with and how you spend your time will have a huge impact on your brain, for better or worse. Everything you experience during adolescence, including things like drinking, vaping, and doing drugs, can become hardwired in your brain if you do it often enough. And once those synapses are hardwired, it's really difficult to eliminate them later. Additionally, if you spend too much time on negative pursuits during adolescence, you lose the time you could have spent on strengthening synapses involved in academics, sports, healthy relationships and friendships, and other positive interests, which means they could be pruned. This is called the use it or lose it principle. Use those positive synapses or risk losing them forever. The side effect of rewiring taking place in the prefrontal cortex is its difficulty to organize and utilize its powers of self-control and good decision making especially, as we'll see, when pitted against a couple of other supercharged regions of the adolescent brain. Because of this internal fight for control by various regions of the brain, adolescents do think, feel, and behave differently from both children and adults. It's important to understand how your brain will function over the next few years. Empowered with this information and ready with the skills you need to help your prefrontal cortex maintain control, you can make the most of adolescence and beyond.